Drive 200 miles east of Los Angeles and you'll reach the edge of the Salton Sea, where summer temperatures climb to 120 degrees. It's a place where few live and little thrives, except here at Salvation Mountain. And I'd like to give you a tour as you come up here. At first glance, Leonard Knight appears eccentric, but he is also funny, humble, and filled with faith. The truth is, I'm the nothing of nobody. I'm the dumbest little shy thing there ever was, but for some reason God had me build a mountain. He created his art project on a forgotten government plot, filling it with painted flowers, ceramic figurines, and spare parts salvaged from the desert. He used more than 100,000 gallons of donated paint and 5,000 hay bales covered in adobe. All this to promote one message, God is love. I don't want to push God's love on anybody. Uh, people used to push me and I don't want to be pushed either. But I let my mountain do my talking. And talk it does. It speaks of repentance. It speaks of faith. But most of all, it speaks of Knight's personal relationship with God. So I go right head on to God Almighty and Jesus, I love you. Thank you for yesterday. Hello God, here I am loving you again. I get personal. And when I'm painting sometimes for three or four hours all by myself, that's how I talk. It was named a national treasure by the U.S. Congress in 2002. Believers and non-believers alike visit free of charge. They say they're moved by Knight's profound dedication and inspired by his childlike joy. Amen. To see something so God-inspired in the middle of nowhere for nothing because he felt it in his heart one day and just stayed with it, it's amazing. You see a lot of large churches and cathedrals and stuff being built, but you don't see something built just by one man that says so much. This is quite an accomplishment. And it's something you can see for miles. Pure dedication and to faith and everything else, you know. Knight says his life was a wreck before he found God. Born again, he wanted to spread the word literally. And in 1971, I saw a hot air balloon fly over Burlington, Vermont, and I wanted it to say, God is love on it. And it said Budweiser, of course, and, and I nagged God for 14 years. I want a hot air balloon that says, Jesus, I'm a sinner, and the sinner's prayer. Jesus, I'm a sinner, please come into my heart. He tried to sew together his own hot air balloon and planned to crisscross the country with his message but he could never get his balloon off the ground. In 1984, Knight's truck broke down here in the desert, and here he's stayed, living in his truck and relying on the kindness of others. Knight continues to wake at dawn to paint and build. He spends the rest of the day tending to his many visitors, up to 100 a day in the winter, and he often gives hands-on tours. Okay. He makes sure nobody leaves empty-handed. Then you've got a flower, see? Yeah. For some, the souvenir is tangible, like a photograph. For others, it's less tangible, a full spirit, an ear full of music, albeit a bit off tune. So flower tree and you makes me glad that I was born. Though Knight says he appreciates the notoriety, he's content being a modern day hermit, cloistered in his Technicolor mountain. This is Ali Louie reporting for Life and Times. Flower tree. You can almost see the color of pride in me.